Hey there. Today we're going to answer one of the most fundamental questions about data access. How do you actually, you know, get it? The answer is a tap. And no, it's not that beautiful wooden handle that delivers your beer. Hi everyone, my name's Mike, and let's talk about some data. It's a given that your security and performance monitoring tools need detailed information to protect and optimize your network. But how do they get it? Today, we're gonna to take a look at how your tools get the data they need. Now, when it comes to identifying a security breach or pinpointing the root cause of network latency, your monitoring tools need the detailed data found inside network packets. By utilizing data like the source of a request, the path of a request travels, and any other resources accessed along the way, tools can spot patterns and anomalies that help identify security threats and isolate performance issues. The trick is to provide tools with all of the relevant data they need from every corner of your network. Missing packets skew results, and blind spots can become hiding places for malicious traffic. Historically, IT teams used mirror ports in their switches, also known as span ports, that copied data and fed it to their monitoring tools. Using span ports is fast, it doesn't require any additional equipment, but it isn't free. Mirroring uses one of the switch's limited number of ports, and there are other disadvantages as well. Span ports don't forward corrupted packets, and when switches get congested during traffic-heavy periods, they tend to drop packets to maintain their switching ability. And because this ultimately limits the data that gets sent to your tools, you'll never get the full picture using this approach. In addition, span ports are also a security threat because they're susceptible to external hacking. In response, many teams are shifting away from span ports to network taps. In contrast to a span port, a tap can be deployed anywhere in your network. They copy every packet, even those with errors, and they forward them to your tools with zero latency. Taps are simple devices with a long mean time between failure, MTBF for all of you guys playing at home, and if a tap does fail for any reason, traffic defaults to the wire, maintaining your network availability. Plus, because the taps have no IP address, they are more secure from hackers. However, the biggest advantage of taps is that they separate monitoring from the live network. This means monitoring tools can be deployed and maintained without impacting the flow of network traffic, which helps you avoid network downtime. Now, if you decide to use network taps, you'll need to use a tap that matches the type and speed of each of your network links. Fortunately, there are plenty of physical tap options out there for you to use, including copper taps and modular high density taps for fiber links that come in speeds from one to 400 gigabits per second. Then you've got patch taps, which eliminate the hard shell around the tap to reduce the footprint and add deployment flexibility, aggregator taps, which combine traffic from multiple links, and finally, regenerator taps, which can send traffic to two monitoring tools simultaneously. Sounds simple enough, right? However, things get a little bit more complicated in virtualized environments. The issue is that traffic that moves between virtual machines on the same physical host, otherwise known as east-west traffic, doesn't flow through physical taps. Therefore, these packets are completely invisible to your monitoring tools unless you have a virtualized solution. Virtual taps work inside the hypervisor layer, making copies of packets that move between virtual machines to eliminate those pesky east-west traffic blind spots. In today's distributed networks, which feature a mix of physical and virtual traffic, you can pair physical taps with virtual taps to make copies of all the packets flowing through your network, ensuring that your security and performance monitoring tools never miss a thing. Now, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today, but I hope I've wet your whistle to learn just a little bit more. For more information on network taps, check out our solution brief entitled Why Taps Are Critical to Network Visibility and Security.